Hello, my name is Richard Hazler and I am the proud principal of PB School and we are Future Ready. When you think about what it means to be a Future Ready school, you think about creativity, you think about critical thinking, you think about collaboration, you think about preparing our students for the world beyond their classroom walls. And I'm proud to say that we provide our students and teachers with every opportunity to be successful. Whether it's our one-to-one -one Chromebook program, our iPads, our smart boards in every classroom, our emphasis on Google Apps for Education, we are encouraging our students to be the best that they can be inside and outside the classroom. We're looking for our teachers to learn, to grow, and to provide strategies for our students to learn those important critical skills. So we're about to show you what it means for PV School to be future ready. So here we go. At Pequannock Valley Middle School, we pride ourselves on our dynamic digital learning environment. In the past year, we have utilized many digital programs to create lessons and activities which push our students' creative horizons. In 8th grade social studies, we have placed an emphasis on architecture and design to help bring ancient civilizations to life. For example, our student Jimmy used Tinkercad with his partners to design everything from a pharaoh's tomb in ancient Egypt to a replica Roman aqueduct. Programs such as Tinkercad have helped us develop engineering and design skills that students can use in future STEM-based careers. A student favorite example of digital learning here at PV is our 7th grade social studies World War I simulation unit. Students assume the roles of world leaders desperately trying to navigate the political and military landscape of the Great War, using online resources to experience the conflict. Students are given secret documents and access to a wide library of strategies and objectives online, which they can use to direct their country's armed forces in a digital recreation of the Eastern and Western fronts. Battles happen in real time, and students have to work together to create alliances, adapt strategies, and compromise on and off the digital battlefield as they learn about this deadly conflict in history. A useful tool for student success is Screencast-O-Matic. Since we are a one-to-one -one district, our students can use the Google site I created for math class in order to find notes and videos. The website and videos allow our school to be 21st century skill ready and improve the learning of our students. When students need remediation of material or are absent from a lesson, the videos can be used to assist the student with their comprehension. It also assists students in their note-taking process and solving of problems and overall understanding of topics. Hi, my name is Jess Zippy, and I'm a student in one of Mr. Zumo's Algebra 1 math classes. A lot of the material we covered this year was fairly complex. I didn't understand what was going on from time to time. Luckily, Mr. Zumo started using Screencast-O-Matic. When I was in class or when I went home, I would just go on his website and look at one of the videos he recorded. Then that helped to clarify something I wasn't understanding or just the lesson in general and helped me review it. As a life science teacher, technology has allowed me to show my students the building blocks of life. From the models of DNA to the parts of a cell, students are able to view and interact with the material in ways they never could before. In technology class and at the media center, I learned coding, web design, app smashing, and the green screen apps to make multimedia projects. It got me interested in how I can use technology to help people. Our students and teachers work together in a collaborative, critical thinking environment, utilizing technology, enhancing their skills and abilities, and learning and taking learning beyond the walls of their classroom. As we move forward into the future, we will continue to do the same. We will encourage our students and our faculty to take risks with their learning, embrace opportunities to learn and to grow, to challenge each other, to push each other to new places that we've never been. When you think about Back to the Future in the last scene in Back to the Future 3, as the series concluded, Doc Brown says to Marty, the future's not set, so make it a good one. We plan on making it a great one as, we, as PV heads off into the future. Yeah.